We have been hearing that there will be electronic voting chair. If you go to typical rural areas, they have no smartphone. A pivotal moment in the country's democratic journey. This follows the commencement of the public sittings in Lusaka, allowing various organizations and individuals to engage in the electoral process. They share their concerns and recommendations on the country's electoral process. The issue of concern here is that the provision is unclear in terms of hearing and determination of presidential election petition period. So what sits in the constitution is within uh, 14 days. Now our recommendation is that the clause should provide for hearing and determination within 14 days, 14 calendar days. The Electoral Reform Technical Committee is spearheading the review process and has so far conducted consultations in nine provinces. Through this review, we aim to identify gaps in the current system, propose necessary legal and procedural amendments, and suggest changes that will make our electoral process more efficient, transparent, and inclusive. The provincial electoral officer is confident that the review process will yield the required results. Your voice matters. We need your ideas, concerns, and proposals to ensure that the reforms we undertake are inclusive and represent the diverse views of our people. These public sittings are a platform for open and transparent dialogue. The Electoral Reform Technical Committee is calling on the public to participate in the review process so that the committee can take into consideration as many views as possible. Ruth Chainda, ZNBC News. Lusaka.